is no glory in battle, only haunting memories and remorse. The rule is very simple, you must kill in order to survive. When it's all over, you pray to God for forgiveness. into a bloodline of warriors, and we could never escape our destiny. It's a daunting moment, and you look around in hope that at least one more of your men will be returning home to his family. Yes. It looks like we lost a lot of good men here today. Brave men who fought, who sacrificed their life for this land. And all these commoners got rigged into this battle through no fault of their own. never get to embrace their wives or children ever again. Trust me on this. Look, I know someone that can help us. He's a good friend and doesn't live far from here. You have to trust me on this. Come on. Acceptance is the only way forward. I knew it wouldn't be easy getting back home. It was actually much more than a hundred miles that we had traveled. Blacksmith. I would say the finest I've ever had. Gratitude. But I don't think you came all the way here for that. I know this is a lot to ask of you, but we need two horses to get back to Falcourt. They're the only two I've got. I understand, but we return them in a few days. You have my word. I know. Go back inside. I'll be right there. Father, who are these men you speak to? Why have they got blood all over them? Don't be afraid. 
These two are very brave men. They have just fought the ferocious battle and they're here to protect us and our land. Now, off you go inside. I'll be right there. Well, Tristan, you have always been a man of your word. I'll have the horses ready for you. <laughs> Tristan, <laughs> I knew we'd see you again one day. Well, you might as well join us for dinner. Not before washing up right there, though. You two smell worse on the horses. <laughs> Come on, back inside. There was someone I could always rely on. It was this man. Arne was a blacksmith by profession. He made armor and swords for our men. He was granted permission to abstain from battle. But I never quite understood why he no longer wanted to fight. Not until this day. Right thing, giving up the sword. Now that the skirmish is over, you think that peace can never be restored up north? Well, there's very few men left alive. It was a fierce battle which lasted for weeks. Why did you stay here? You could have all been killed. This is our home. We were all born here and will die here. Eat, my dear. Please help yourself to some more. We need to continue on our journey soon. Well, you two are dead tired. There's no point in heading out anywhere today. So, all I can offer is the barn. It's not much, but you can rest and head out tomorrow morning, first light. Be nice to sleep inside for a change. <laughs> What do you want? This is our territory. Fine. Then we shall leave. Ah, uh, no, no, no. Now that you've used our land to rest, you have to pay. <laughs> Come on. 
But we have no coin. <laughs> then we take your horses. Take our horses? No way. I'm afraid you don't have a say in this matter. The horses stay with us. You will not have them. Oh. Tristan, before. These men think they can have our horses just because we crossed their land. We didn't know this was your land. So if you just lower your weapons, we'll be gone. No, not without any payment, I'm afraid. <laughs> Come on. If you really want our horses, you're gonna have to earn them. Anything on this land is ours. Ah! I'm afraid that's not the way it goes. So you want us to fight you? <laughs> <laughs> No, there's no need to shed any more blood. We'll have a duel. Your best man against any one of ours. Very well. And we take your horses as well. <laughs> Ragnar! So, which one of you would like to die today? I'll fight him. No, just... Leave him to me. Beyond, spear! Get him ready for... <laughs> Lucky stars. Ragnar never loses a fight. Where well, there's always a first time. 
Come on, let's go. I'm sure we'll meet again soon. And take back what is ours. <laughs> It wasn't under the most pleasant circumstances, but it sure was good to meet Jodas, Reeve and Rodgar along the way. I can only assume they were the last survivors up north. We decided to travel back together. That way, if we encountered any more trouble during our journey, we would stand a much better chance of survival. Under the reign of Lord William, all men in the Midlands must unite and fight to protect our land. Even though we hadn't been defeated, too many lives had been lost. When you're one of the only five men returning back home, there is no sense of victory. shall treasure it. If only I had known what kind of trouble this innocent gesture would get me into. After two days of traveling and hardly any sleep, we were finally getting close. We would have probably made it by sunset the next day if it weren't for Jodas, who convinced us to stop and pay Lord William a visit. Identify yourself! My name is Tristan of Leon. We survivors from the skirmish up north. I demand to speak with Lord William. As we walked through the gates, we couldn't believe our eyes. Lord William hadn't sent any of his men to fight. Everyone inside the fort seemed oblivious to what was going on up north. Guardians of Farcourt, protectors of the kingdom. Ah, and you, you must be Tristan of Leon. Heard about you. Still loyal to a heritage, I see. Always. A man is worth nothing without loyalty. Mm. So, tell me. What brings you here? The north has been cleared, my lord. But as you can see, we have suffered a great loss. Good heavens. Is this all that's left of you? I never imagined the threat up north was so serious. I'm afraid we're heavily outnumbered, my lord. My lord, all we need is some food and a place to rest. Do not be troubled. We shall be gone at first light. Go on at first light, you say? Well, then, let us not waste time. 
You're just on time for the harvest celebrations. I trust you'll find all that is needed here. Welcome. We have strict orders here. No puppies beyond that gate. We should have left, just as Rodgar suggested. But I couldn't help it. The gaze of that woman in the blue dress was telling me something. Follow me. And I had to find out what it was. Looks like Lord William hasn't deprived himself from anything while we were gone. Hey lads, these people look up to us as though we are their heroes. We have saved them from the northern attacks after all. What do you expect? She wouldn't utter a word to me. I believed it was because there was too many people around. So I would have to wait until later. My lady, my lady, did he mistreat you again? Yes. He still blames me for not being able to bear children. He says I'm of no use to him if I can't give him a son. He's been unfaithful since the marriage. Perhaps it's him that's barren after all. Even if that were true, we'd never admit it. He's a coward. My lady, if anyone hears you talk this way, they will have you executed. I've kept quiet for too many years now. Master Philbert and Lord William withhold some dark secrets. 
When the time is right, all the people here shall learn the truth. I can't live like this anymore, like I'm his slave. <laughs> What's that, my lady? The sorcerer gave it to me. She said even half can kill a man. Are, are you going to poison Master Philbert? No, you are. Before tonight's harvest celebration, Master Philbert will return to his chamber. That is when you shall pour this into his chalice. My lady, you cannot do this. They will suspect you. And, and that sorcerer, she is... What about the sorcerer? She's not to be trusted, my lady. Why do you say that? Forgive me for, for, for not having said this before. But... I have seen her with Master Fulbert in his chamber. My son. He's still rather unpredictable, I'm afraid, my lord. Perhaps he will join us later on? Perhaps. I kept looking around, hoping I would find her. But she was nowhere to be seen. I still couldn't believe Lord William selfishly kept all these men under his control and left us go to battle so heavily outnumbered. Now this, this is what I call hospitality. That's right, I'll drink to that. <sighs> this is our reward. What do you say, Tristan? I say don't get used to it. Something tells me we're not really welcome in here. Not welcome? What do you mean we're not really welcome? Were it not for us, this whole fort would be reduced to ashes by now. And all those feasting, they should be celebrating our victory rather than just some good harvest. Lord William had any sense of honor left in him. He might have put some of these men to good use. All I'm saying is that this is our chance to be repaid. You're right, Joe. Just you're right. Well then, let's make the most of it. The others decided to just enjoy themselves that night, since we'd be gone by the next morning. But I was determined to find her, despite all the other beautiful women we could see around us.
promised me you'll take me with you to Falkord. The road is still too dangerous, Sabine. Besides, you'd be better off living here. Falkord is rather vulnerable now. You have no idea what it means to live here, Jodas. A while ago, when we entered the fort, the guards were about to arrest us just because one of our men was holding a puppy. That's exactly what I'm talking about. But I don't understand. Why would they react in such a way? <laughs> Be cautious on what questions you ask, Jodas. And even more cautious on which flowers to pick. Well then, prove to me that I have chosen the right one. The harvest celebration was not to your liking, my son. No. It's just that we have a long journey ahead of us. So we'll be rising early in the morning. I understand. So why is it you're not in there with them? <laughs> we don't uh, take part in these uh, indulgences. Of course. You must belong to the Order of St. Benedict. Is that right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Well, as I said, we'll be rising early in the morning. So I better get going. May God protect you and keep you safe on your journey, Tristan. You are Tristan of Lyon, aren't you? You're too young to remember, but I spent many years in Falkord. I knew your father well. After all, I was his confessor. He was a very brave man and loyal to Lord John. That's what they tell me. So how is it you came to be here? The conflict between Lord John and his brother William caused many of us to flee Falkor. Did you not know that? I've heard stories and I've never been sure what to believe. But you still haven't told me how it is you came to be here. The threat of violence to our people was too much. Lord William's army was much stronger. We had no choice but to surrender. Not everyone surrendered. Isn't that right? Yes. Your father and four other men at arms decided to stay and fight for their family's freedom. Until Lord John fell ill. Lord William sent his entire army to break through the gates of Falkord and kill anyone who would defy them. Never surrender what is yours by right and die with honor. That is what he always told me. As a gesture, Lord William spared the lives of the wives and children of those five soldiers and granted them their freedom. They say history repeats itself. Do you believe that? I've lived long enough to believe it can be true, my son. 
But if I wanted to avenge my father, I would have done it a long time ago. I cannot forgive or forget, but I have learned to live with the resentment. Resentment can be very dangerous, my son. It can consume you. I shall keep that in mind. But this time, I'm just making my way back home. Just as I was leaving the chapel, about to go to sleep, I saw her again. She must have been waiting outside, but she didn't stop. I assumed she wanted to lead me to a more secluded place, so I began following her slowly. I had to make sure no one would see me so I kept a distance. My lady. Soldier. Forgive me, my lady. I was just on my way to get some sleep. You know you're rather charming for a soldier. What is your name? It's Tristan. Tristan of Leon. Tristan of Leon. What an intriguing name. You know, I saw you looking at me during the harvest celebration. Perhaps there's something you'd like to tell me. No, my lady. Are you sure? Absolutely sure. Yes, my lady. I'm sorry, but I must go now. Perhaps I have not made myself quite clear enough. I wish not to spend the evening on my own. Well, then perhaps you should tell your husband that. What kind of a husband sleeps in another bed with other women? Very sorry, but I can't go along with this. Then why is it you wander here alone? I know when a man is looking for something or someone. There was a woman in a blue dress. She wears a red ribbon around her hair. Do you know where I can find her? How dare you ask me about another woman when I'm offering myself to you? You will never find her. I will see to that. I should have never asked. Especially her. Couldn't help noticing the wedding ring on her finger. Yet she was always alone.
Ralph, take Adormadera to the dungeon, and be sure she stays until sunrise. Yes, my lady. Dormitera, I was looking for you. You're in great danger. Lady Isabel, they want to look you up. Go. 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 day, I still cannot understand what happened that night, but I'm sure that was her red ribbon. If she had just left it there, I knew she couldn't be far. What I couldn't understand was why she left without saying anything. Just me. Why don't you come and have some rest now, Tristan? I hardly slept that night. I kept hoping she'd come back. But she never did. Maybe I was just disillusioned. Still, I kept searching for an answer. 
I guess some things in life just happen and we simply have to accept them for what they are. That was a night I shall never forget. I can't seem to remember most of it. <laughs> <laughs> She knows something. About what happened here yesterday. I've asked her already. She won't say anything. I asked two of the ladies as well. Nothing. Maybe Lord William is just allergic to flowers. <laughs> Grumpy old bastard. <laughs> <laughs> well, I had to let go. I didn't really have a choice. It was finally time to return home. So once again, all five of us set off together for what was meant to be the last day of traveling. Maybe I should have brought her with me after all. Well, you can go back and stay there. <laughs> Jodas? No woman waiting for you in Falkirk, I assume. <laughs> Not anymore, I'm afraid. What about you, Rodgar? Well, let me tell you. I have a beautiful wife and five children at home. Tristan? Not that I know of. Even though I had never even heard her speak, I knew that was her screaming. What was that? Go. Ivor, you stay with the horses. Yes. What is the meaning of this? Huh? 
Who's there? Is that a way to be treating a woman? What? You stay out of this. Matters here do not concern you. She's a woman unarmed. That's no way to be treating her. Don't push it, boy. This girl is in our custody. We shall treat her the way we deem fit. I'm afraid that's unacceptable. I demand you let her go at once. so mesmerized by the way she looked at me, I was almost unaware that I had just killed a man to get her. Wait. We mean you no harm. He didn't have to do this. He's lost his mind over here. I think so. Please. You need not be afraid. I just want to unbind you. Why didn't you stay? Should get going, Tristan. The girl is free now. She's coming with us. All the way to Falco. Tristan! The girl will be a burden. What if they come looking for her? He's right. She'll slow us down. Then I shall stay behind. But I'm not leaving her here alone. As you wish. Let's go. Move. Ivor? Ivor! Ivor! Hey! Ivor! 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 Talk to us! What happened here? Somebody hit me. Who? Who was it, Ivor? I don't know. <sighs> Where are the horses? I don't know. They're gone. I knew this was a bad idea. Now what? Are we supposed to walk it back to Falkord? Well, it doesn't look like we have any other choice, do we? Our horses have been taken from us, and there's nothing we can do about it. So I suggest we get walking, because it's a long way home from here. William, I return with bitter news. Speak, Ralph. We've been ambushed while bringing back the girl. And Philbert. What about Philbert? He's dead, my lord. Dead? My only son is dead? Tell me, Ralph. Who did this? 
The five men that were here yesterday, my lord. Which one? Which one of the five men killed my son? The one with the lion crest, my lord. Damn you, Tristan! I receive them like my own. And this, this is how they repay me! Stand up. Go find them and seize him. I want you to bring this Tristan back alive. If you'll allow me, my lord, I shall personally seek vengeance for my husband's death. Ivan, rally all the men. We have a bloodbath to settle. All of them, my lord? Yes, all of them. You heard me well. These are no ordinary soldiers we're dealing with here. Ralph. Yes, my lord? What about the girl? She's with them, my lord. Very well. We must bring her back alive. I shall avenge your death, my son. As I swear, I the sword handed to me by my forefathers. You shall pay for this, Tristan. As God is my witness, you shall pay for this. Vengeance is not the way. Join me in prayer and try to forgive. Forgive? It's easy for you to say. What would you know about losing a son? All I know is that nothing can bring him back. You too should pray for forgiveness. Perhaps you forget, but the man who you seek vengeance upon you left fatherless as a child. You talk too much, priest. And you've imprisoned a domadera? She left motherless before she could even speak. You leave her out of this. Could you show no mercy on her mother? She was just a whore. Of no use to me. Of no use to you? That is not your concern. She was not in my plans. Only God makes plans. We simply obey them. God, obey. I was never in God's favor. And you know what? I don't need him anymore! What blasphemy! Silence, priest! I've had enough of you! How dare you talk to me this way! Hold your tongue at once, or I shall have it removed! I have no fear anymore. We're all safe in God's hands. Well, let's see how God will save you from this then. Hello! Your men are assembled and await your command. Do with you later. My men need your blessing. Ha. And what about you? Go, give them your blessing. Olaf, summon all the able men and make sure they are well armed. At once, my lord. Is my horse ready? Yes, my lord. Philbert's death has brought great sorrow for everyone.
My brothers, we have been out hunting together for many years. Yet, this time, it is not the boar that we hunt, not the stag or the bear. This time, we hunt a pack of five insolent wretched. Only just a while ago, they're walking here amongst us. Disguise the sons as friends, only to eat from our own food and to feast on our women. And that's not all. They have expressed their gratitude by killing my only son. But today, we shall prove to all the kingdom that we were never afraid to fight. And that all we ever need was a greater cause to fight for. What better cause can there be than to avenge the death of one's own son? We shall prove to all who dare who challenge us that we do not and will never tolerate defiance. Defiance! This time, we hunt the traitors. This time, we hunt with vengeance. Just a few more miles and we would have made it. Without horses the road seems a lot longer. It had almost been an hour since we freed the girl and slowly I began to recall what I had done. I began wondering who those men could have been and why they wanted to kill her. She was the only one who could tell me but she never said a word. Tell me what was going on back there. Who were those men? Well, they can't harm you now. Perhaps we should stop and rest for a while. Oh, please. The weight of the armor is killing me. Right there. That looks like a good place. Yes, let's go there. He did not have a large army anymore, and they certainly weren't very skilled soldiers. They were just commoners who lived to serve him. 
doubt any of them had ever been on a battlefield before. But they were armed with spears and swords, marching steadily towards us. There were at least ten for each one of us. What's the matter with you? You shouldn't be running away from us like that. Look, if you don't stay with us, chances are you're gonna get captured again. And I might not be there to save your life. You must trust me. There's no reason for you to escape. I'm only trying to protect you. You're beautiful. How could anyone want to harm you? But I can't hold you against your will. So you're free to go, if that's what you really want. Your beauty captivated me. I knew it was love from the moment I saw you. I feel as though I've known you for many years. Yet I don't even know your name. Take him back to the fort. 
I had killed his son. Of course he wanted us all dead. What father wouldn't? See, they're coming back. Last night, in the fort, I saw you running. What is it you are escaping from? Why won't you say anything? Look, I just want to know what happened. Get over it, Tristan! Clearly the girl is a mute! A beautiful girl that doesn't speak? What else could a man wish for? <laughs> 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 if only all women were like that. <laughs> Tell me what's going on, right now. What do these men want of you? Come, come with me. There. What are we up against? 40, 50, maybe more. They're approaching fast. We must move. Come on, Ivor. You need to stay right here. Don't move. You realize we're five men against an army. Oh. Well, there's only one way out of this. We fight, and we fight together.
looking for you, son! This was your choice, my lord. You sent an entire army for one man. You arrogant Spaniard. Did you really believe you could just kill my son and walk away? Your son? I have no way of knowing, my lord. You shouldn't have gotten him a It was his life or that of a helpless, innocent woman. Innocent? Innocent? You don't know anything about her! <laughs> I watched her escape last night. Yes. My son was bringing her back. Before you decided to interfere! Why? Why can't you just let her go? We called her Adomidera! Because the puppy! She has such a rage in her! Does not even God himself is able to tame! I don't understand. Then why would you keep her alive? Because she's my daughter! Loyalty and honor. Just like your father. You should have learned Tristan of Leon. Some methods are best left undisturbed. This is for my son! So what happened then? She looked at me one more time, and then she started running. She just ran until I couldn't see her anymore. saw her again.
faces are It's hard to tell Time is not enough Working your way out No turning back It is not the end Angels won't be playing hard to get Rise above the faces here And the light will guide you Stars will shine all bright Along the way Where love will find you Tearful eyes, so proud to share your everlasting smile. The hope you left behind will not decay. This is not the end, it is life alone that holds. Where no one dies And the light will guide you Stars will shine all bright Along the way Where love will find you And on your journey home You'll hear your song Somewhere around Bye.